Hi guys, welcome back to part 9 of Soma. We are now in Teta to find a vehicle, I think the vehicle is called Dunbot. To the vehicle is going to help us to go to the to help us to get to the Ark. So we took we took the Zeppelin from Delta to Theta, and now we are entering Theta to find a vehicle that is going to help us. And the vehicles, I think, are called Dunball. I'm not so sure. Hmm. Let's interact with this. Strasky, wake up, Doctor Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The valve surgeon, the number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait, where are Comorabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. Okay. Now oh, we can interact with that one too. This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. No. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. So people killed themselves because of the ARC project? What's that? That's everything right. Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? Hello? Hello? Who is that? Mark? S Simon. No, we haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least, I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Yeah. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon, so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Robin... I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? 
pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. See you later. Will do. I'll be going now. Let me know if you find anyone else. You good? I think so. I feel fine. Bye. Wow, that's uh... Holy yo. Oh, that look like someone. <laughs> I thought there was so much. Um, swipe Omnito. Access granted. Let's go in Zeta. Find the fear girl that will bring us to the ark. Holy moly, a little bit like <laughs> Found data. Okay, so I think we need to break that glass to go in that room. Where the hell? I hear the fire. Excellent. Let's go in here. A toilet, I think. Some uh, same wars. Let's plug my Omni tool in it. We're here. We're yes. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? 
It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend, it's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a pro, fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... it's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Mm -hmm. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah. Uh... Damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Maybe that's all there That's robot outside, maybe knows. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Okay. Find someone who knows the security cipher. Site status. All system or a pay or a or optional. Mm. Map. We are here, this is the main level, then we have level 1. Well, Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why are they in the gate? In the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. All the people... So everyone is downstairs. We are the only ones that are here. Oh, there's light. Cleared out. Let's go left. Hello. Nope. Let's go left again. Holy moly. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? My heart has also a bad feeling. Okay, let's open this. <clears throat> okay, guys, I know you're hiding in the toilets. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Who was that? Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. Simon, you remember you didn't shower before going to um, your doctor? 
I think your doctor was mad because you didn't shower and put it you in this misery and this living hell so I think we now are going to shower oh my god it's not working it's not working Jesus Christ <laughs> towel okay so no one is in the bathroom holy moly what is this stop screwing with me game why am i even opening it jesus christ and now the light is going to flicker again What is this place? Camera. Oh, great hallway, great. Closed. I know you don't block me. What was that? What is this? Hmm. No lights. <laughs> Catherine. Trump. Bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memory. Let's close it. I don't trust it outside. Trash. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. What's wrong? Do you hide something that I need to know about? Cool fan. What's a little projector? Looks homemade. That's my attempt at building a vivarium. It's kind of a proto arc. Tablet. <laughs> Journal. <clears throat> June 6, 2003. Imogen retested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by the Way HU. But more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way. Like someone had specifically created it for the Way HU to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. Augmented reality capsule, I think. Next, June 14, 2003. After, uh, after dissecting the Viva Vivarium machine that treat activated. It's clear that we we you copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the read simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point where my capsule houses flats. People construct from model neurographs the vivarium's brain scan lives on it isn't limited by its content from the or originating brain scan read emerge the read inside the varium was a perfect copy oh oh oops um perfect copy 
June 21, 2003. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build up. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pedos too. I can't figure out how it worked with the uh, vivarium, but I can replicate the way I choose scanning technique using the pilot seat. They are already prepared to type with the type of electromagnetic drums needs. And so we know how Katrina got to the idea and how she got it to June 22, 2003. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect the way HU has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the mockingbirds. The way HU must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seats and used it as a basis, basis for intelligence in the machine. July 3, 2003. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started our ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. July 12, 2003. Mark Saran killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the arc. I'm not sure how that will work. It, I, it did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff and apparently it's my fault somehow. Stromeyer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. Hmm. Show she got. I think. So that helped her, that helped her to build it. I think there is more to see. Um, AR capsule. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. I folded one of them to make a new friend for capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulence make the weather system so much better implemented read didn't go well new try retreat read won't play nicely with the others she is not real Beep 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 Sorry I'm going to trash your bedroom Brush Brushy brush Your teddy bear could use some repairs Toby always breaks. He's top-heavy, so he keeps falling over. That's sad. <sighs> oh. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Boop, 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 boop. 
What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, um, I mean... Yeah, that's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's... It, it, it's a long story. Forget it. Okay, so that was her room. Teddy bear. Is a creepy room. It was a guy that was fascinated about the project. Dear friends, when you read this I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished, ceasing to life as your scan is being completed. Do not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion. I will bite down quickly, causing my own dismiss. Whenever you discover the truth behind my dad, now there is no strategy to mourn. For I am victorious, I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the ark. Sincerely, Mark Serang. Nature of identity, pavilion nature. Questions about the self: Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surrounding convince or define you? All very difficult ideas to approach without having your questions be invalid, both practical or mysterious by the spiritual mind in this book Pavel Murchi, professor of psychology at the Charles University in Prague in Prague guides you through the history of great thinkers and what they have to say about identity well, another letter March 2000 March 7 2002 Mark Salon intelligence analyst Data Peters to Marek Sarang. The company is very pleased to hear of your success in making the way you station wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the way a true from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct 
Julia Dahl at Omicron to first fully eliminate any post opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme action. The WHO is an important costly affair and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. The supervise the supervisory boards. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, in the next episode, Ooh, did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die, some live a few days while others live a few years. We're not affected by their as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt. No less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the ark. Let your body die. And continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. Oh, okay. Dr. Mar. Okay, guys. I will see you guys in the next episode where we'll be probably finding the other guys or someone that knows the code to open the vehicle that bring us to the ark bye guys bye bye